All right, turn that water back on. That's the ruling from a judge in Hillsborough County. We told you about this last week, the story of the woman who didn't pay her homeowner's dues and the association cut off her water, and she didn't have water for a month until it went to court. Fox 13's Tanya Ujia today looks at what the decision could mean to other homeowners associations. By the end of the week, Sarah won't have to buy bottled water anymore. A judge has ordered her pipe be replaced and the water flow freely again. The water is going to get turned back on. Nikki Fernandez is Sarah's attorney. She's been fighting the Riverwalk Townhomes Association. Sarah is more than a year behind on her dues. Her water, cable, and maintenance are all part of a $275 monthly bill to the HOA. So when Sarah and others were behind, the HOA passed this amendment stating they could cut the water. There's a lot of homeowners associations that are going through this, and there's a lot of people that are behind on their maintenance. But going through to these drastic measures, um, you know, somebody has to step in and say, hey, you can't do this. And the judge did, telling the HOA they were basically trying to force Sarah out by cutting off her water. The legal theory is is that what they're really doing is trying to push her out of her house by cutting off these utilities which is improper and it's against florida laws but the judge faulted sarah just as much saying she needs to pay her bills he ordered her to pay three months worth of water about 165 dollars plus a court filing fee which may be applied towards her outstanding hoa fees both sides must reach a settlement for the rest Bob Tankle represents associations, although not Riverwalk. He says the HOA is caught in the middle, trying to collect what's owed to them. The association has a dilemma, and they were trying a creative way to work around it. The judge obviously felt otherwise and found fault in the way that the association's bundling of services is uh, provided. But he says the bundling of services is usually determined by a developer or the county, and the HOAs are unfairly seen as the bad guys. One of the problems is that associations are routinely seen as a bunch of condo commandos. He says his clients have no real recourse other than spending money in court. Fernandez says the judge said we're all dealing with hard times and we need to work together. Tanya Arja, Fox 13 News. Now, Sarah here is going to have to pay the cost of uh, replacing this water pipe. Attorneys say the ruling may not have any future impact on other homeowners associations because it does not set a legal precedent. Other judges may rule this differently. A horrible wreck in Polk County leaves.